Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're learning about how to solve a rational inequality. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, solve and write the solution in interval notation. 4x over x minus 6 is less than 1. Well, our first step here is we want this inequality to have zero on one side and everything else in the other. So we want to bring the one over to the left-hand side. So to do it, I'm going to subtract one to both sides, and I have 4x minus an x minus 6, or over an x minus 6, minus 1 is less than zero. But I want to create this as a single rational expression, the left-hand side. I want it as a fraction. So to combine these two, I want to rewrite negative 1 to be a the denominator here, x minus 6 over itself. So 4x over an x minus 6 minus an x minus 6 over an x minus 6, and that's less than 0 still. From there we can combine, because our denominator is now equal, and we have 4x minus an x plus a 6. Remember, that minus sign gets distributed to both sides, both parts, and have x minus 6 is less than 0. Rewrite it up here, let's simplify a little bit. We have 4x minus x is a 3x plus 6 over an x minus a 6, and that's less than 0. From here, I want to find my critical values, the critical points, really. Critical points. And this is where our left-hand side, now that it's all by itself and zeros on the right, our left-hand side is equal to zero or undefined, and we want to know where the undefined part is, too. Okay? From here, we have 3x plus 6. Well, the numerator, if the numerator is equal to zero, right, then the whole thing becomes zero. So 3x plus 6, we set equal to zero. The denominator, we have x minus 6 equal to zero. Again, setting the numerator and denominator equal to zero. But denominator, this is where it's undefined. Good to note. From there, we solve minus 6 to both sides. And we have 3x equals a negative 6 divided by 3, and x equals a negative 2. That's one critical point. The second one, I add a 6 to both sides, and I have an, well, x equals a positive 6. That's our second critical point. So from here, I want to look at a number line. Now, I don't need to write the whole number line out. I'm just going to highlight where negative 2 is and where 6 is, roughly. Okay? We don't need to put all the values, it kind of clutters it, but you can if you want to. I'm going to kind of separate this. We're going to look at the numerator and denominator here. 3x plus 6, and the denominator x minus 6, and then I'm going to rewrite that expression. 3x plus 6 over an x minus 6. And what we're going to care about here is any value, well the critical points kind of tell us here actually, Critical points tell us where this switches from a positive to negative solution for numbers in that range. So from negative infinity to negative 2, we have to figure out are these numbers positive or negative, and from negative 2 to 6, as well as 6 to positive infinity. So we want to pick a number within that range and see what happens. I like to pick an easy number. Let's pick mm, negative 10. Negative 10 is between negative infinity and negative 2. Negative 10 plugged into the first part, the numerator. 3 times negative 10 is negative 30, plus 6 is a negative 24. Don't really care what the value is, I just care that it's negative. If we put negative 30 in for x right here, negative 30 minus 6 is a negative 36. It's a negative. All right. Numerator and denominator. There are going to be negative numbers always within negative infinity to negative 2. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. So from negative infinity to negative 2, we have a positive number. Now, what about from negative 2 to positive 6? Let's pick a number. Let's pick 0. That's an easy one. 0 and for x, 3 times 0 is 0, plus 6 is positive, right? Positive 6. 0 for x down here, 0 minus 6 is a negative 6, negative. A positive divided by a negative is a negative. Not too bad. Lastly, we have 6 to positive infinity. Let's pick positive 10. 3 times 10 is 30, plus 6 is 36 positive. 10 minus 6 is a 4, <laughs> almost thought about that for a second, is a 4, but it's positive 4. And a positive divided by positive is a positive. So how does this help us? Well, we now know all numbers for x between negative infinity and negative 2 are positive, 
when we the final answer is going to be positive. From negative 2 to 6, it's negative, and from 6 to a positive infinity, it's positive. Notice we want to find out when x or what, what values cause this expression to be less than 0. Well, any number that's less than 0 is going to be negative. So now we're looking where our numbers will be negative when we plug x in, and our little graph helped us here. Negative 2 to positive 6. So we have negative 2 to positive 6 is the only interval where we're negative. Now we have to determine, is it, can it equal negative 2 or positive 6? Notice I said here that negative si or a, po um, a positive 6 value plugged in right here causes this denominator to be undefined. All right? When it's undefined, it doesn't exist. We can never equal that value. So we have to put a parenthesis there. What about negative 2? Well, negative 2, when plugged in, the numerator causes that to be 0, we found. But 0 is not less than 0. It's equal to 0. Right? Since we know the equal sign, this also has to be a parenthesis. And so now we have our interval notation for our final answer here for the possible values of x. And that answer is from negative 2, not including negative 2, to 6, not including 6. I hope you learned something here on how to solve a rational inequality. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.